The 6565 Takancha Current Monitor is a testing device designed to assist in determining whether a tow vehicle's wiring is working properly. This unit is an excellent diagnostic tool for installation, setup, and troubleshooting of electronic trailer brake controls when a trailer is not available. To check the lighting functions, plug the current monitor into the vehicle's trailer connector. Extend its cable to reach the driver's side. Now activate each function indicated by the four LED lights across the front of the test unit. With the vehicle ignition key on, test the left turn signal, right turn signal, brake, running clearance lights, and backup lights. We've just shown you that all the lighting connections are working properly. If any of the lighting functions fail to illuminate the LED lights on the tester, the faults or probable causes could be improper vehicle wiring, defective or improper wiring of car end connector, or broken, dirty, or corroded car end connector pins. With the vehicle ignition key on, now we are going to test the battery charge line by switching to the trailer battery charge position. This test will measure the voltage being delivered to the trailer battery charge line. As you can see, the voltmeter is reading 12 to 13 volts. We've just shown you that the charge line is working properly. If the voltmeter on the tester did not read the proper voltage, the faults or probable causes could be improper wiring to the vehicle's power and or battery ground, defective or improper wiring of the car end connector, or broken, dirty, or corroded car end connector pins. While sitting in the driver's seat, position the switch located between the amp and the voltmeters to the trailer brakes position. Then position the switch labeled number of axles to the appropriate position for the trailer that is expected to be towed. We will set the number of axles to three for this test. With the brake control installed, set the power knob to maximum and engage the brake control's manual override. The brake voltage must register at least 10 volts. The brake control current output should register at least 12 amps for two axle trailers or 18 amps for three axle trailers. We've just shown you a properly working brake control tested with the 6565 current monitor. If the display on the brake control does not illuminate and current monitor does not register voltage output, the faults or probable causes could be improper wiring of the brake control to the vehicle's power and or battery ground, improper setup, defective or improper wiring of the car end connector, or broken, dirty, or corroded car end connector pins.